Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install a tension rod. Um, I got this at my local Joanne. It's a uh, leveler. Uh, it's good to measure your window's width to find out what you're going to need. This one was uh, 28 to 48 inches uh, or 71 to 120, 20, bleh, excuse me, 71 to 122 centimeters. Um, I forgot it's priced. I think it was like $5.99 maybe or $7.99. It wasn't really actually that expensive. Um, but it didn't come with instructions, so I had to figure out how to do it. Uh, why did I choose a tension rod? I don't know if you're using very heavy drapes. I don't know if these are very strong, how strong these are and how much weight they can take. Uh, with me, uh, I didn't want, the problem with a lot of rods is that you have to uh, drill holes in the walls or something to put them up. And I've already put in a lot of holes in my wall. And I really didn't want to put anything more. And the thing is, is like if you use an old hole, when you install new stuff, it, you know, it stuff breaks out, it, you know, it, it just, it becomes kind of a problem. So, um, the tension rod, I was planning on doing a light drape, so as you can see, I finished my valance, and, uh, so I've got some stuff up there, um, but, th what's nice is that tension rods oh, stay up, they, they require very little hardware, it's just pretty much the rod itself, and it stays up there due to pressure, you know, between the two walls. So you don't have to put um, any hardware. You don't have to make any holes. You don't have to drill any hardware. It just sticks up there. Um, and probably, I would imagine it's, easy to re it's easier to remove as well. So I'm going to open up the bag and uh, I'll show you what's okay, involved So this here. is the rod out of the box. Um, you've got a part that can kind of go on. There were no instructions, which I found kind of annoying, you know, because, I mean, they just always assume, I guess, that you got, you, you're going to know how to install this stuff. But, um, anyway, it did turn out to be pretty simple. Okay, so the mechanics pretty much is, the only thing you're going to need is uh, a screwdriver. And uh, you'll notice that there's a spring and uh, a little uh, thing here that you're going to unscrew. Now you're not going to remove it, you just want to unscrew it to make it um, so it'll move up a bit. Uh, providing your, I mean, you may not have to unscrew it if it turns out that if fully, but you're probably going to have to unscrew it a bit. Uh, let me see. Excuse me. Uh, okay. So yeah, you see, you want it to be able to move up and down, like so. Okay, so when you're figuring what you want, how big, large you want your rod to go to, you want the rod to go at least a little bit outside the window, because how this works is with the, the spring plays an important part. So make sure it goes at least a little bit outside the window. Uh, for this to work. Okay. So you kind of figure that out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to move the spring to where you want it. And then you're going to move this. And then you are going to tighten it. I'm not, okay, yeah, it didn't tighten. Okay, uh, I might have to take the camcorder down to do this. Okay, we have our, uh, this is what it looks like now. The, the thing has been tightened. All right, whoops. All right, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so what you do, is you go up to where you want the, the tension rod. Notice it is a little bit outside the window, but that is not going to be a problem. Put 
put the one area around the area that you, the uh, one end to be about the area where you want it to be, uh, you know, where the direction, you know, I want it to be kind of in the middle of the wall here on this side. I hope you're seeing this, I can't really tell. And then what you're going to do is you're going to press in. You see, this is how that spring works. And then you um, position the other pole and you try to get them, slide them so that they're even. And there you have it. Now, if you have curtains, I have snaps on my curtains so I can put them on after um, I have the pole on. But if you don't, if you just have loops, then you're going to have to probably put the curtains on before you put the curtain rod up there, which is probably going to be more of a pain, I admit. All right, I didn't totally... Um, I didn't totally, uh, ex well, you couldn't totally see what I was doing. When I was talking about how you had to position the one in where you wanted it, this is what I was talking about. I wanted it to be like in the middle of the wall here. You position the one end that's going in first, while uh, the other part is kind of sticking out to the side here. Remember, you want it to go a little bit outside the wall because you're, you're going to be pressing it in and putting in, and that's how the tension is what keeps this thing up when it doesn't have any hardware. Um, getting it perfect like you do other curtains or, you know, curtain rods, it's not going to stay if you get it within the wall. You have to have a little bit coming out the thing. Um, but first you position the one side. And once you get it to where you like, you take the part and you press in and, you, and that should allow you to move it in. And you'll be able to move it around a bit. Uh, you know, it, it does, well, yeah, see it moves. Okay, now I'm going to have to readjust it. But, um, okay. And then you get it where you want it to be. And you may have to turn it a bit too, because sometimes. And it, it stays pretty, it's pretty sturdy. Um, I don't know how much weight they can take. Uh, actually, this is a little up, I think. I don't know how much weight they can take. I'm using a very light fabric. Um, I mean, it is pretty sturdy. Mine fabric's not doing too bad. Uh, I don't know how they would do with things like those Victorian grapes, you know, those big, thick velvet drapes that have all that line, um, I don't know, that sheer fabric, and, you know, in between and you know, I don't know whether it would do well with that. Um, you, you know, I, 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 I don't actually know. I've never been into that myself. So, but um, it, it is pretty sturdy and it's very easy to install. And, um, and so, uh, and it's, you know, it's perfect for people like me who don't want to put any more holes in their walls. So, um, anyway, so that's how you in, install a spring tension rod. And a note, if you, you know, as I said, if you, you know, I have snaps on my curtains so that I can take them down. Uh, if you don't have uh, curtains that you can just put up and down, then you're going to have to p install it with the curtains on, which admittedly is probably going to be a pain. Um, and then you'll probably have to take the rod down to uh, get the curtains off if you want to wash them. Uh, that sh I would think that's pretty easy to do too because I mean all you're going to have to do to remove this is to you know I, I'm not going to be able to do it with one handed probably but if you just kind of press in and then you just pull out and it should be able to come out. So, um, so thanks for watching.